Good morning, internet friends. Agent Numpaw here. Uh, Wednesday, October 14th, whatever. Uh, election in however many days. Uh, revolution in 10. So anyway, I was going through my voter's pamphlet. It just came in the mail a couple days ago. And so I got the, the PDF version here too, so we can, we can look at it together. I like this here, this section on page eight called, uh, under voting information called Don't Be Fooled. So it, g it gives a list of uh, scenarios. Would you give someone going door to door your ballot to put in a drop box for you? Not safe. In 2018, 97 people did this and had their vote not count because the ballot was turned in after election day. Don't be fooled. So there's drop boxes everywhere. And don't give it to somebody else to turn in. I mean, I take my wife's, you know what I mean? But, like, don't just give it to somebody that comes and knocks on your door and says, Hey, we're here to pick up ballots. Um, harvesting? Something like that, I believe they call it. Anyway. Would you believe a talk radio personality who says your political party has changed when you go to the DMV? I believe they're talking about Lars Larson, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, this is, it's kind of, I, I kind of remember this. I, I think, I don't know if it was necessarily him or if it was somebody calling in or something like that, but I believe it was on Lars Larson that I heard him, heard him talking about something like this. Uh, I believe he's from Washington, but anyway. Uh, that says, uh, not true. The political party you are registered with never changes because of a DMV transaction. If you're not already registered, you'll be registered as not affiliated. Don't be fooled. So, yeah, you'll get registered automatically when you go to the DMV if you're not already registered. But uh, whatever you're registered, at, if you're already registered as a, Demo or a Democrat or Republican or an Independent or whatever, that's not going to change just because you go to the DMV. You have to actually change that yourself, I guess. I mean, I, that's what I did. I had to go online and change it. I've had, I don't know how many transactions with the DMV since I first got my thing. But, yeah, it's never changed on its own or whatever. But I guess that's what they were suggesting. Uh, would you believe a story that non-citizens are registered to vote when they get a driver's license? I've heard this one quite a bit. Uh, the, the, the thinking is that since when you go to the DMV and you get a license, you're automatically registered. Uh, and the Democrats pushed for uh, illegals to be able to go in and get a uh, ID card. And so the conspiracy was that when they got an ID card, they were registered to vote. Uh, whatever. Oh, and they, they were allowing uh, non-citizens to get driver's license or something like that, possibly, if, if I remember correctly. And they were saying that, that means they were able to vote too. I, you know, if they fucking live here, let them vote. Vote here, you know? Whatever. That's none of my business. I don't care. Um, would you believe a social media post, phone call, or text message that your vote registration has been canceled? Not true. Anytime your voter registration is updated, you are sent a confirmation of the changes. Don't be fooled. At any time, you can go on to the um, Oregon Votes or whatever, OregonVotes.gov, and check your stuff and make sure everything's fine. Um... Would you register to vote on a website you saw on a social on social media instead of registering at the official Secretary of State site OregonVotes.gov slash register? Huh. I didn't even hear about this. Not safe. In twenty eighteen, many people used third party sites thinking that they were registering to vote, but the information was never sent to the elections division and they could not vote. These sites can also steal your personal information. Don't be fooled. Wow, I didn't even know, I didn't know anything about that. And I bet those people made quite a bit of money doing that. That's crazy. Uh, would you trust election information like deadlines, Dropbox locations, and results from any website other than the official Secretary of State site, OregonVotes.gov? Not safe. Only use official information located on the Secretary of State's website or your county elections website. Don't be fooled. Um, would you believe a social media post that says your ballot can be rejected without you knowing about it? It can't. If your ballot is rejected, you will be notified and have the chance to fix it. Plus, you can view the status of your ballot at OregonVotes.gov. Slash my vote, don't be fooled. Yeah, you can go on there uh, whenever you want, 
the all the way up until the election when you check your ballot. Uh, one year that happened to me, like for some reason it what it wasn't showing up, wasn't showing up. Um, it had been I forget how many days since I had mailed it, so I went into the office and I said, you know, I showed her what was going on, and she said, okay, here you go. And I filled out another one, and I said, well, what happens if the other one does show up? And she says, well, there's up till 30 days. I believe it was 30 days after um, that they'll give it to show up. And if a second one arrives with the same name, with the same information, it just it cancels it out because it's already been counted. So, yeah. Um, would you believe a social media post that says because of record high voter turnout, Democrats vote on Tuesday and Republicans vote on Wednesday? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not true. All ballots are due by 8 p.m. Tuesday, November 2020. Don't be fooled. Yeah, uh, <laughs> there's record turnout, so <laughs> we had to split it up. Democrats vote on Tuesday, Republicans on Wednesday. Good one. Uh, would you believe a picture on social media with the same candidate listed twice and another candidate missing? Not true. People have showed photoshopped ballot images before, don't be fooled. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had a ballot with a mistake on it. Um, I'm 30 something now. I think I'm 39 now. And I'm voting since I was 18, I've never. I don't think I've ever had one. Maybe I'm misspelling, but I don't think I've ever had a ballot messed up. Uh, would you believe a headline that says it's too late to secure the upcoming election. Not true. Election security is or in Oregon has never been stronger and is continually being improved. Don't be fooled. Yeah, so that one's boring. But anyway, so there we go. Ensuring the action you wrote. There's all the other ones. But man, these are pretty good. Don't uh, don't be fooled. And uh, don't give somebody your ballot. Don't uh, don't believe the radio. Uh, don't believe any lies. Don't believe anything. Only trust uh, Oregon votes. Whatever. Um, just trust the government. Everything should be fine. So don't be fooled. And uh, happy voting.